So I would just run out in a panic. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Letting a Wheel Pick My Crafts. And you might have noticed, like I said in the last episode, the wheel has had a makeover. There's some new stuff on there. So yeah, we've had a little bit of a refresh, some new ideas, some new things happening. Same kind of rules, same situation as it's always been, but just with a little bit of extra spice. So let's find out what I'm going to be making today and spin that wheel. Oh, I wonder if we get something new. Come on, wheel. Oh, it's a new one. It's a new one. Oh, exciting. Oh, so it's landed on art. Art, it's a cat, cat, boom. So I'm making some art today. It's obviously very broad. It could be a painting. It could be a sculpture. Just anything artistic, something arty. Oh, like that. Love that. Okay, so let's see what this piece of art has to be made out of. And honestly, I'm quite a versatile artist. Wink. So I'm not too worried about the options. I feel like I'm creative enough to come up with something. But let's find out what materials I'm going to be using and spin that wheel. Um. Mm. Oh, I didn't want that one, no. Why? I've got art. I've got art, which is such a fun one. And I have to make it out of food. It's not obviously the end of the world because like food's fine, but just why? I, oh, literally, I think it's the only one on there I didn't want is food. Just ruining us real, you ruin us all the time. It's for the best. Hey, please! <laughs> Okay, let's find out my budget for this piece of food art. And I would like a high budget because I don't know whether you've been to the supermarket lately, but food is so expensive. Stupid inflation. So I need like a decent budget if I'm having to buy food of all things. Food's a necessity, but apparently we can just like overcharge and starve people in the world. But I, I'm not going to get into that because it's a discussion for another day when I'm, 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 I'm feeling quite vexed. But let's find out how much I can spend and spin that wheel. Come on, big money. Oh, oh yeah, yes. 50 quid, great. Oh, I can buy plenty with that. Well, I say plenty, it depends what you're buying, doesn't it? If I'm wanting to buy meat, I've got no chance. I was seeing as well in other countries. I know in the UK, inflation's pretty shocking and prices are pretty shocking, but food prices in other countries like Australia and Canada are absolutely crazy expensive. I've seen some videos and it's like $10 for a lettuce. $10 for a lettuce, how? I think we can get a lettuce for like 60 pence or something or like 50 pence, but $10, it's crazy. But there's lots of things in the UK that other people would find crazy at how expensive they are, mainly house prices and how little we get paid in our wages. The cost of living's just shit, isn't it? Anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about that because that's just depressing, isn't it? I don't wanna live anymore. Okay, so moving on to the final wheel, which decides whether I can use any other materials that isn't food. And I would like, yes, just to kind of balance out the food side of things. Because then maybe I could buy like a canvas or, I don't know, just, just, just anything other than food. But let's find out and spin that wheel. Ah. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, it teased as what a little tease. It was on yes and then it went to no, and then it went yes and then it went to no, and then it just slowly went over to yes. Oh, little cheeky, cheeky thing. So in today's episode, I'm gonna be making some sort of art piece. It has to be made out of food. I've got a 50 pound budget, which isn't too bad at all. And I am allowed to use other materials to help me out, but the main part of this piece of art has to be made out of food. This wheel, this one, it definitely saved us. It could have been a disaster, but I think I'm going to be all right. But anyway, I'll see you in a few weeks and we can figure out what kind of tasty art I've decided to make. Nom, 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 nom. Oh my God. You all right? Where did you get your car from, eh? What, this car? Yes, yeah, it's for it. Oh, thank you. I just bought it at auction. How much did you pay for all this? Oh, uh, it, it wasn't too expensive. I got it at auction. It was only a couple of grand. Where did you get your money from? Well, actually, I'm quite a popular hooker. You know hooker? Yeah, yeah, hooker. So good for you, girl. Sorry about that. Just chatting to the locals. And the Oscar goes to Anthony Kramer. Kramer.
So I know in the last episode when it landed on food, I went for pasta for some reason and it was like the worst choice ever. It's a terrible decision. So this time I've got a great idea for some art using sweets or candy or lollies or whatever you want to call it. And the thing is, I've got a vision. I know exactly what I need. So let's pop into the shops and well, we'll see if they've actually got the stuff that I need. Otherwise, I'm going to have to come up with a plan B. We're off to Pound Stretcher, the place that stretches pounds. There's a gym there as well. I'm not going to the gym. I don't think so. I'm going to need to go to a different shop though because they don't sell M&M's or Skittles and I needed either M&M's or Skittles so I'll have to pick some up when I'm at Tesco's it'll be fine, I'll make do but as if they don't sell M&M's it's literally like a crucial part of this piece of art that I need some M&M's or some Skittles and then I'll meet you back in the studio and we can, we can start making some art making some very, very delicious art oh. so it's a brand new week in the studio I've got a canvas which is going to act as a base for my piece of art I did eventually get some M&M's this is in fact my second bag of M&M's M&M's because the first bag I bought I ate it. <laughs> Because I can't resist. Because peanut M&M's, they're like top tier sweets for me. It's like that. Cherry's chocolate orange. Bounty. Well, just all sweets, really. I just I just really enjoy sweets. I just like eating. But I've been to the shops and bought a second bag. And then, of course, I've got my pound stretcher haul. Which, by the way, I think I got carried away and bought far too much. I don't think I need this much. But the M&Ms might have confused a few people. So basically, what I wanted to do is put some M&Ms in some bowls, add some water, so that I've essentially got, like, a paint to paint with, just as kind of like a surface. I know I could have just bought food colouring and just literally made a paint out of food colouring. And that would have kind of fit into the rules, but I thought that was just cheating. Okay, and I don't need this colour, so I'll keep them for later and I'll eat them. So now I just want to add a bit of water and try and get the food colouring off these M&Ms. Don't know how much I'm going to need. So my idea for this is to create a seaside pitcher. I think that's what I'm going for. So we'll start with some yellow. I hope this has worked. It should do. Now this should act as like a nice little wash. It's subtle. It's so unbearably subtle. Ah, oh, it was a waste of time. Is there any point? Like, you can barely even see that. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing, isn't it? Well, is it better than nothing? I think actually nothing's better than that. You can see it better in person. On camera, you can't see that, but there's a very pale yellow on there. And I want a bit of brown. This was such a waste of time. Well, I think I get points for creativity because it's a creative idea. It's just the idea hasn't worked particularly well. Oh, the blue's good. Well, how How is the blue this good and all the other colours are shite? I'm just going to blot the excess of this off because I wanted this to be better and the idea hasn't worked very well. I'm off to a rough start. Okay, so since that hasn't worked, I'm just gonna have to add more sweets to this which is fine because I've got loads and I'm just using my favorite thing hot glue I think I'll use these cola straws as kind of like palm trees also I don't know whether anyone else noticed but when I went on my little shopping trip the place like the little retail park I went to it's it's pretty much a dive anyway but it was so filthy there was just litter absolutely everywhere it's kind of an issue because it's like a rundown I would say retail park it's not really a retail park but they built a better one next door to it and that one it's just it's gone to the shit it really has. It's so disgusting. And it's mainly people who litter. I hate people who litter. There's no need in it. I think I'll use these green ones as little leaves. That'll be fun. But no, I just wish people would look after places and take care of things. It's like another thing when you're shopping. I don't know whether anyone else notices it or does it, but I notice it every time and it pisses me off. When you go to like a supermarket and you have a trolley and obviously you do your shopping, you take your trolley back and there's them little like cubby holes where you go and put your trolley back in place. People just chuck the trolleys in willy nilly rather than like stacking them up how they're supposed to be stacked up. And then you can't fit any more trolleys in and it's, it's just irritating it boils my pace i don't know whether it's just because i'm like becoming older or what i don't know but it just it really vexes us i think it annoys me more than anything because it requires so little effort to put the trolley back in the right place rather than just like slinging it in it's the laziest thing you can possibly do and every week i go to the shops i come across it and it just it, ooh, it irritates us if i've got time and people can call me sad i really don't care if i've got time i will reshuffle all the trolleys back and put them in the right 
right place so that they stack properly. And I don't care whether that's a sad thing to do. It just, it, it pisses us off something rotten. I just don't understand why we don't like care for things and care about places. And that's when you end up with like retail packs that just look absolutely hideous and just look so ugly and messy and unclean. You horrible, horrible people. I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks that. There'll be lots of other people who get annoyed at the same stuff. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is gonna turn out quite good actually. Okay, I think I'll use some gummy worms for the sand. And I did already open a pack of these to try them because I was peckish one night. And if you ever go to Pound Stretcher and you see these gummy worms, don't buy them. They are absolutely disgusting. They just taste like the cheapest shit ever. Which would be fine if they were like mega cheap, but they're not. They're the same price as like a normal bag of sweets. I have a feeling I'm not gonna have enough sweets to actually do what I want to do. Because my little wash of colour didn't work, did it? Oh, and also I wanted to say a big thank you to Jen McClellan for becoming an exclusive VIO. You very important orange you. Speaking of oranges, I obviously bought that pack of Terry's Chocolate Orange Bars. Literally, I ate them in seconds. They were straight down. They lasted no time at all and they were delicious. I just proper love food. I like, I just love eating. I used to have quite an unhealthy relationship with food. Like when I was younger, I used to be quite large. Like I used to weigh more than I weigh now when I was in year seven of school. So when I was 11 years old and I was obviously a lot smaller than I am now, height wise. I was fatter then than I am now because I used to just eat from boredom and I used to eat because it, it was just basically a habit. And then after that, I kind of started eating just for necessity and it became more of like just a fuel thing and I didn't particularly enjoy food. I've never really had a healthy relationship with food, but now I feel like I finally kind of figured it out and realized what foods I enjoy and I don't know how to have a relationship with food. I know that sounds sad, but that's a little history of me and food, but I did, I used to be a proper little porker when I was younger. I'm talking about I would go to the freezer, take a full giant tub, like a sharing tub of ice cream and just sit in bed and eat the entire thing. And like, I wouldn't just have a couple of biscuits. I would take the full pack of biscuits and a pint of milk and just eat it in one serving and did absolutely no exercise either. But then I became the polar opposite and so I would just be missing meals all the time. There was one day I remember I went to work and I'd realized whilst I was at work, I'd gone an entire day without eating and not really even thought about it. I was I was quite hungry at that point, so I did eat something, but now I'm a lot better. Has this got any gluten in? No, I love bonbons. I don't know whether you get bonbons in any other country, but bonbons are amazing. They're okay, they're not the best, but they're possible. Oh, I'll eat all them. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try and make some sand out of the limited sweets I've got. That's actually not looking too bad. I need blue though. I don't know whether I bought any blue stuff. Oh, I've got jelly worms. It's literally all I bought. Why did I buy so many green things for? I didn't need that many green things. Well, I'll have to cut the jelly worms for the sky. Okay, I've got even less blue gummy worms than I did the yellow, which is worrying. I was thinking, do you think I can do like a layer of green to act as kind of the sea? Can the sea be green? I suppose it can. It depends where in the world the sea is. I could do like a green sea and then a blue sky and then you'd have like a nice gradient. Why am I taking this? so seriously for. I'm literally I'm making a piece of terrible art out of candy. But I will add some marshmallows for some clouds. See what these are like. They're all right. Tastes like a bog standard marshmallow. They're not very sweet though. I always find marshmallows to be really sweet. These, these don't have a lot of flavor. If you ever go to Pound Stretcher, don't buy their sweets. They're proper shit. Unless of course you're gonna make some art out of them then, you know, go for it. Oh, I need a sun in the sky as well. I use a bonbon. Right, and then I'm just gonna use a hint of green for this C. I don't want too much. The thing is, this is gonna look really good, you know. I'm not even lying to you or shitting you or anything. Like this is gonna look pretty good. <laughs> I should have definitely bought better sweets when I was at the shop, but I always feel pressured when I'm in the shops and I'm looking for too long because I feel like they think I'm stealing stuff. I always, I don't know, I get stressed out. I used to be really, really bad and if I was spending too long in a supermarket or something and I couldn't find what I was looking for, I would just leave. Because as well, when you're trying to act natural, you'll see like the security camera, you're trying to act natural, but because you're trying to act natural, you look even more unnatural and you look like you're up to no good. So I would just run out in a panic. I used to struggle a hell of a lot with anxiety. I feel like, well, sometimes it rears its ugly head, but I feel like I've got it more under control than I used to have it. Like I used to also have, I don't know whether anyone else had this. I'm just telling you it's all about my life. But I used to have a really shy bladder. So if I ever went to the toilet and there was someone else at the loo, like I would go in and stand at like the urinal and have like a slash and someone else would come in next to us. I would have to cut my wee halfway through or just not start at all and either wait for them to go or pretend I've finished and leave even though I hadn't finished because it just wouldn't come out. I don't have
have that anymore, but I do find it weird when you're at like a urinal and someone will stand right next to you, even though there's like empty urinals all over the place. I find that very just odd behavior. Like just stand, stand away from us while I'm pissing. Because there's been many times when I've been on like a drunk night out and I've gone to the urinal and I've just been like splashed by piss from someone else stood next to us who can't control their winky and their floor of wee. And I'm not even joking, like seriously, I've been covered in piss on nights out before because of other people who can't piss in the urinal properly. Fortunately, my drunken days are behind us now. It's very rare I go out. I'm talking about utter shit today. Have you realized? Yeah, we have. Okay, I think I'm finally done. So here's my masterpiece. <laughs> Ta-da! You know what? I think, I think I've done quite well. You can totally tell what that is, can't you? Like palm trees, clouds, sand, a kind of sea, and then sky. Oh, this isn't just art. This is fine art. This is the finest art you've ever seen. The only thing I really wish is that the wash of food coloring had actually properly worked. It's worked a little bit. Like you can kind of see a blue tint on the sky, but the yellow and the brown, it was never ever gonna work. So that's just about as it for today's episode of letting a wheel pick my craft. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments if you had to make a piece of art, it could be any art, out of food, what would you make and what would you make it out of? I feel like I went to quite a literal place. I could have been way more creative. But also, if I'd been way more creative and challenged myself even more, way more things could go wrong. And I'll see you next week for what I think is going to be another foodie video, actually. I can't remember what I'm recording. I think it's going to be quite gross, though. I think I'm going to be eating some gross stuff, so... Something to look forward to, I guess.